Hello everybody, this is the Crested Tree Frog, and today we are going to be talking about Axolotl Care. Uh, he is a GFP with six stick Axolotl, which means he glows. If you want to see him glow, um, look at my other videos. But his name is Mudkip, and let's first talk about food. So I feed my Axolotl these Axolotl pellets. Uh, I got them from the breeder, which is Je Gexolotl. If you want to order any, you can order it there. Um, he really loves them. I'll drop a few in there for him to eat as we record this video. So, let's see if he'll eat. I usually feed him like six to seven every day, or every other day. Uh, he loves them. He just munches them right up. He'll smell them in a minute and then swim right over there. So as you can see, uh, axolotls are fully aquatic animals. Um, they don't need any kind of uh, land or anything because they can't go on land. They have gills. That's what. Hey, don't eat that. He's trying to find a piece of food that I dropped in there earlier. He'll smell those in a minute though. So these are his gills, those little red things on the side, that's his gills. Um, so let's talk about the tank now. On the left side of the tank I have large rocks. If you have smaller rocks, uh, they can get impacted. As you see, they're very messy eaters. He just like tried to bite a rock looking for food. But um, so uh, on the other side it's just bare, but you can have sand. You just have to be careful about impaction. Uh, large rocks, you can't have small rocks because impaction. Uh, or just bare bottom, which I have on half of it. He is in a 20 long. You can keep them in 10 gallons. But um, nothing under 10 gallons. 10 gallons is the minimum. Uh, you can do like... 15 gallons for one. I just have mine at a 20 gallon because it was an extra empty tank that I had laying around. Uh, you can house two axolotls together uh, if you just have to have a bigger tank. Like if you want to hold two together, you'd have to have a 20 gallon tank. Like I have, I could put two in here. Uh, but mine's small, so he can. This is big for him. So axolotls get almost a foot long they get about eight inches long to ten inches um, they get pretty big as they get bigger you're gonna have to feed them instead of pellets blood worms and other aquatic uh, amphibian food so I have lots of hides in this tank like as you can see that flower pot there's that log cave right here there's plants everywhere and he can hide behind those rocks. Uh, they love to hide. Uh, I find him in this cave a lot, most of the time at night, because they are um, kind of nocturnal, but he's still active a lot in the daytime. <clears throat> um, for heating and lighting, uh, never have heating unless you have a super cold house, like you live in Antarctica or something, because they like cold water, so you can have like 65 to 75 de or 70 degree water, and they love it. Um, so no heating is required unless you have a super cold house. Um, but I have a UVB light on the right side of the tank, so I can see him better. They don't need UVB, but it's beneficial to them. And, um, oh look, he's finding the food. He smells it. I'll go back to that later. So I have this, um, Exoterra UVB on one side of the tank. Uh, so I can see it better. And, um, so the filter, it's a canister filter. It's back there. Um, this is the intake. That's the out. Um, Make sure you don't have a strong filter because they don't like a, wa a lot of water movement because it can stress them out and make them um, sick and stuff. So mine I have like, pointing to the wall so it slows down the water flow before it goes into the water. Um, and then, so
so it keeps the water nice and clean. This is a 20 gallon filter, by the way. So, um, and an another thing, axolotls, when they poop, it floats, or it sinks to the bottom, and f not like fish, so it's hard to get it out unless you have a turkey baster, which I use and other people use them too. So you can just stick it down and then suck up all the poop. And then you can do that like every day, clean it out, and then just like pour out the water. Um, I clean mine out every morning because at night he poops a lot, I guess. Um, so, what else? Oh yeah, and um, I'm gonna be, s okay, so here's some fun facts about axolotls. Uh, like I said, mine is a GFP leucistic, and the GFP gene makes them glow under black light. I can't do that now because it's too bright, so you won't be able to see it, but um, check out my other videos, or I'll just put a picture so you can see. Um, they are native to Mexico. They are really very, very endangered in the wild. So they only are native to like a few lakes in a certain region of Mexico. Like I said earlier, they get almost a foot long. They look pretty, they look really cool and they're adults. And um, these red things on the side, those are his gills. Um, and if you want to know if he's stressed, the, gil the um, gills will kind of like shrivel up kind of. And, um, that's how you know he's stressed. So, I'm, I'm going to talk about pricing. Uh, axolotls generally aren't very expensive, um, even though they are very endangered in the wild because they are bred. And they are pretty common, but still not very common at the same time, I guess. Um, I got him for $25 uh, from Gexolotl. Uh, check out their Facebook page. That's where I got the food also. They have really cool axolotls, but um, yeah, they had other ones for like 50 and 75, but it just goes all the way up to around 150. Uh, so $25 to 150, probably maybe a little bit less than $25, but I got him for $25, so <sighs> yeah. Um, Babies are generally cheaper, but uh, I got him as he was a little bit older than a baby. He was a juvenile. A juvenile, I think he was about two or three months old, but I got him last February or this February at the Reptile Expo. Um, it was February fourth and fifth, I think. It was Repticon in Arlington, Texas. Uh, usually at pet stores they never sell them, but at breeders and reptile stores sometimes, like specific sp stores that sell just reptiles, um, and reptile expos sell them. Axolotls like to hide in dark places, that's why I don't have the whole thing lit up, and I turn it off, like, at night, so... That's why they hide in the caves and stuff a lot, so they don't have to be in the light. So it's harder for predators to see them and eat them in the wild. So that is it for my axolotl care video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you're considering getting a pet axolotl, I highly recommend it. They're awesome pets, and they're not very hard to take care of. Thank you. This is the Crested Tree Frog. See you guys in the next video.